Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to finish up the binding on this Fernandez uh, Super Strat here. And if you watched the previous videos, you have seen how I routed for the binding channel and you watched me bend all the binding to fit this and it's taped on. Now I'm going to actually adhere it to the body. Um, so I, it's, it's actually the next day and because um, <clears throat> I got busy doing some other stuff yesterday and I couldn't finish it. But uh, we got the body. Um, I've got it clamped to my little, uh, little clampy bench here. I'm going to use uh, acetone and I'm going to use this uh, Monoject 412 syringe. I'm going to leave links in the description below to all of this stuff. Now you can also use something like this. This is like a precision oiler syringe and um, so we're going to use acetone, we're going to use some syringes, we're going to use capillary action, might even use some clamps and um, maybe some surgical tubing too. And no, we're not going to tie off and shoot up acetone. Um, <laughs> I don't know if anybody does that. All right, so um, let me get my, uh, my tools together and we'll get started. Okay, so I've got all my stuff here. I've got some acetone and I like to keep the acetone in one of these jars here because it's easier to suck it up in the syringe and I've already got some of it in there. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to squirt it along this line here of the binding and it is going to wick in. Let's, uh, let's just do some of it right now. All right, so I, I went ahead and left the tape on there for a long time. And the reason is if you put the tape on um, and you, you, don't, uh, you don't allow it to actually set, the tape will pull up a lot easier with, when you start wicking the, um, the acetone in here. And it's just going to run down. You'll, you'll start to see it down here. And um, remember, there's, a, there's some that came right through there. You saw that. And remember, the reason that this works is capillary action. And if you're, uh, if you're asleep in bio class, that is the ability of a liquid to move through um, two things that are tight together. So anyway, so it's wicking in there and what is happening is the acetone is actually melting the binding and you can even see it in some of these places here. Now anywhere where there's, there's a little spot that might not be uh, you know, pressed all the way down, you can go ahead and now is a good time to just kind of mash it in there. So um, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're just going to move right along the body and um, when we get to some stuff like this, um, see, it'll, it'll go ahead and squeeze right in. I might get some clamps and clamp to the pickup cavity, or I might wrap it with surgical tubing. Um, we'll, uh, we'll just see where we go. Now, anyone who's seen my video about how I'm not going to Rockler, I had these before I stopped going there, so don't call me and go, hey, you've got some stuff from Rockler. I'm not going to throw it away just because it's Rockler. Okay, let's, uh, let's keep it going here. It's not a terrible idea to have a, uh, a paper towel so you can kind of clean up some of the other stuff, some of the extra acetone. Um, so I got a little, little spot right here that I'm just going to, I'm just going to mash against the body and I'm going to hold it there for a while. Now you can clamp that um, or you can, uh, you can just do what I'm doing and then if you have a towel. You can wipe up a bunch of this acetone and then tape will, uh, will adhere to, to the body. If you wanted to clamp it, you could, oh man, this clamp isn't quite long enough. <clears throat> but you could go, um, you know what I mean? You could go something like this and clamp into that neighborhood like that. Um, or you could just hold it like I was doing and it, uh, it's actually staying put. I'm gonna get some tape though and, and tape that up. Okay, this is almost done, but we have one little area right here where the, uh, the, the binding kind of lost its shape. So rather than try to heat that up later and fix it later or mash in a bunch of pooty later, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the heat gun out and just reform this guy and touch it up and it'll be, uh, it'll be good to go. Now, <clears throat> Remember what I was saying? You could use surgical tubing. You actually can. 
Uh, you can wick your acetone in there or you can wrap the guitar binding and body with surgical tubing. Wick the acetone in there. The, the acetone won't affect the surgical tubing um, and it will, you can wrap it up real tight, sort of like how Gibson does with, um, with the cloth wraps if you've ever seen how they do binding. But I don't know where my surgical tubing went. I had a couple things of it and it's gone. And I'm going to have a stern talking to with Monkey next time I see him because I'm pretty sure he lost it. <laughs> Actually, I don't know what he did. So we're going to, we're going to, um, we're going to bend this guy back and, uh, and we're just going to go ahead and tape it down. But remember, surgical tubing or even cloth wrap um, would work in this scenario too. Uh, maybe even better than, than tape does because you're not relying on the adhesive on the tape. So we'll get this guy uh, fixed up and this guy will be... Um, Bound, and we'll have to let it sit for a little while, but it'll be, be good to go. As I walk, each step I take, the arms are laid down at my feet. The enemies are pinned with no advance and no retreat. They were once advancing, they're retreating now instead. They are under siege, they will starve or eat their dead. My skull's a prison wall and I'm breaking out I dig myself a hole and I'm climbing in I'm triumph in the end and I'll show you how I'm willing to lose and that's how I... Alright, so that should about wrap it up. This guitar needs to sit and uh, just be still for a little while. We're going to go ahead and leave it overnight because it's night time and I'm ready to go home. Um, there are lots of ways to do binding and approach binding, um, lots of ways to attach binding to your guitar and lots of ways to stick it down and get it to get it to the, the adhesive to dry or set. And uh, the acetone trick is um, the best way that we have found to do that. There are glues and you can take acetone and bits of binding and mash them up into a paste and make a little thing. Anyone who's ever done that um, will know why that's not so much fun because that crap gets everywhere. It does have the advantage of um, being its own filler, which I guess is cool if you, you know, uh, if you have any gaps. Uh, let's see, I had a couple of questions about some, uh, some binding related questions. Uh, one viewer wanted to know if you could do this after the guitar was finished. I'm gonna say no because um, the way that we do it, we're gonna have to clean up this edge on the, the sides and the top and just get everything looking good. Um, I suppose there are ways to do it, but I don't know any of them. Um, some other people have asked about, you know, the, the uh, binding adhesive and stuff like that or using super glue. I don't know, uh, I don't use them. Um, I have heard that uh, super glue doesn't exactly work that well, uh, but I wouldn't know because I've never tried it. Um, I've used binding adhesive. I have used uh, binding and acetone in a slurry and I have used and will continue to use the, uh, the acetone wicked into the, um, uh, the in between the binding and the, um, uh, and the wood and I guess some people call it self glue, maybe on the Les Paul form. I don't know because I don't go there anymore. <laughs> okay, so guys, this is, uh, is going to wrap this one up. If you have any questions about what we did today, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you appreciate content like this, you might want to go check out our Patreon page because we are entirely viewer funded and it is Patreons uh, like those guys over on our Patreon page who make everything that we do possible. If you can't do Patreon, we totally get it. Uh, feel, please feel free to share this video as many places as you want. That helps us out a bunch too. So until next time, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody. I don't